Well, an incoming professor at Boston University is now apologizing under pressure after sending a series of anti-white tweets that have gone viral now for days. African American Studies and Sociology professor Saida, Saida Grundy now says that she regrets the messages like this one about boycotting white-owned businesses during MLK week. And this tweet describing, quote, white college males as a, quote, problem population. Richard Fowler is a nationally syndicated radio host, and Kevin Jackson is the executive director for the Black Sphere and author of Race Pimping. Thank you both so much for being here. So, wow, um, she really doesn't seem to have a, a high opinion of white college males. The very group she's going to be teaching, it might be a little uncomfortable in the classroom. Am I wrong, Richard? <laughs> it could indeed be a little bit uncomfortable in the classroom for her, Megan. But here's the thing. I think the whole <laughs> ideal behind in academia is the, you know, professors have tenure. They're allowed to sort of espouse their beliefs and espouse their opinions and express their First Amendment right. Uh, and so she did it, and she apologized. BU is a private institution. I, I, I mean, I just don't see, I don't see the story here. Really? Is that, do, you, do you see the story, Kevin? I mean, imagine if the situation were reversed and an incoming white professor send out tweets talking about, uh, I don't know, let, let's put it the other way. Why is black America so reluctant to identify black college males as a problem? Do you think that teacher would be welcome at Boston University? I, I bet you Paula Dean and uh, Donald Sterling see the irony here. <laughs> you know, look, th w w what we're doing, Megan, is we are tax paying, taxpayer funding these racists to teach these kind of classes. For, for, him, for him to argue that it's about tenure, look, you should be teaching people about what's good about their race and, and letting these kids appreciate the mosaic of America. But instead, they create victims. They get white kids in those classes and they say, hey, young white men, you're the scourge of the earth. They get black kids in these classes and they say, hey, black kids, there's a thing called white privilege and you weren't born with it, so you're a victim. And then they want to put it under some academic you know, headdress and say, it's all privilege. Pretty. It isn't pretty. She's a racist of the highest order. And, and you know what? I'm you shocked can... that they actually did anything. Go ahead, Richard. Well, well first, one, uh, sir, Kevin, BU is a private institution, and they're paid well, by t tuition dollars, and they can do whatever they want to do. Number two, this prof professor has her wow. First Amendment right more so than anything else. She could say whatever it is she wants to say, just like a white professor could say whatever it is that they want to say. No that question. is their she's First Amendment right. She's allowed to say it. There's that, that, is exactly. that really the it's issue here, whether she's allowed? And that speech should be protected, Megan. We, we, you know, we argued hey, this last week. You don't have to convince me that it's protected speech. <laughs> of course it is. But it's a different question when you're, oh, yeah, at, when you're asking whether this, uh, an incoming university professor should be allowed to teach a, a course in sociology or African American studies when she's specifically told but the white that, kids but, in the class, in particular the men, the they're, they're the problem. But that's the prerogative of the university, look, look, the university's Megan, administration, when, when not ours. Of course it's their you, prerogative. Look, you, the question you, is whether you, they're you, exercising you, the right judgment. Go ahead, Kevin. You can make it, you know, First Amendment and all that. I, she can say whatever she wants. But what the problem is, is that there's a ramification. If she were a white professor that did that, and, and, and certainly uh, a, a, a avowed conservative in any way, she'd be kicked out. And there are many examples of people who have used, have exercised their First Amendment rights, and they get in trouble for the most innocuous things, like black holes or the use, use of other terms that sound like the N-word. Hey, you're in the college. It's you're in the college setting, and you're held to a higher standard because you're supposed to be educating well, our young minds. But let me ask you this, Richard, ed. because there's actually a movement <laughs> uh, to support her. Uh, the I stand with Saida hashtag. They've launched an online petition, and what they say is, "quote Racism extends to virtually every institution." American society, including higher education, and calling her tweets racist minimizes the very real effects of racism for people of color. She says racist things about white people, and then if she's called out on them, you're a racist. I don't get it. I, I see. Here, here's the thing. I think being, I think this throwing around the word racist is throwing around a loaded word, right? I think what uh, what Professor Saida was expressing was her particular opinions on how she feels about the white race. Whether I right. agree with it or don't agree with right. it, she that's, sure her is. that's her particular opinion. Just like a lot of professors at the University of Liber Univers yeah. Liberty University don't believe that gay people should get married. I don't agree with their beliefs, well, but they're allowed what? to express you know them, what, and the Richard, university condones ahead, Kevin, those. I'll give you the last word Richard, quickly. you want to you want to know what you want to know you want to know what's interesting is that there have been a lot of white people that have helped her get to the position that she is, and she's trying to throw them away. It doesn't take well, away from the fact that we still. 
still face does she want to live in a black in world? Country. If, those, if those white people no, will just admit that the, that the white men are the here, problem, wait, wait, one she's, second, it's Megan, all going to be point. fine. No, I got to go because uh, I got Rand Paul next. But it's great to see you guys. Good debate. Good to see you too, Megan. Coming up, the discussion.